Hello everyone, welcome to another video from the chess guy. Today I'm going to show you a trap for white called the Lasca trap. Starts off with d4, d5, c4, turning into the queen's gambit, and then e5, which is a peculiar move. Uh, most white players don't know how to defend it, so you'll obviously see a lot of bad moves. And so yeah, and you might you'll probably be able to do that trap like 50 50 so once you take the pawn the pawn advances to d4 obviously cutting off the knight going to c3 which is actually very important in this trap i mean the best move is to go there obviously attacking on this pawn then the white knight will go there then it's actually okay to play e3 but i'll explain that later now a lot of you will probably want to play e3, so if he takes you take and then you'll stop black king from castling. And plus taking away that dangerous pawn. That's actually not a very good move, cause but it's still an okay move since the trap doesn't always work. So the bishop checks and obviously the knight can't go to c3 because then the pawn will just take it so why would you do that i mean you obviously won't do that too and so you'll play bishop to d2 <coughs> stopping uh, the check now this look this is an amazing sacrifice so you you should look at this black takes the pawn offering white the bishop Obviously, white doesn't have to take the bishop again. It's going to be okay. You could just take that with a pawn. But you could then, like, do that and then put some nasty, like, attack on. So, in this trap, you actually take the bishop on b4. And then you take the pawn on f2 instead of taking the queen. Obviously, the white king can't take because then black will take the queen. So the black, sorry, the white king has to go to e2. So what is the correct move here? Will you be able to guess it? It's not to promote to a queen. It must be a check. I'll explain later. You can't play that because the knight will go to f3, which... Then you can't take the knight, it will save him a knight and stop the pin. So first you need to take and force him to take. Obviously, uh, if the white king goes to e1, you could like play queen h4 and other stuff. So you'll be still winning by like 7.65 points from the computer engine. Now, if white thinks, okay, fine, I'm still going to lose, but still, he might, this is the most common move, so you take the knight, because they don't know the trap. So it's very handy to actually play this. Then, you play bishop g4. Very beautiful move, since the white king has to move, and there's no knight to go to f3. Now, once the king goes to maybe e2, you just take the queen and you'll be winning by a lot. For example, there you're going to, it's going to be me and five. Thank you so much for listening to this video. Please subscribe and like. Thank you.